Hi Canon Collective, welcome to this click update number three. I'm sitting here with photographer Darren Ju. Darren, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Fantastic. The Click Awards, it's actually two streams. Um, there's this um, edited and processed, and can we kind of expand on that, what that means for sure. the Collective? Sure, sure. So what we're trying to do is um, to include everybody with a variety of interests in photography. Yep. And so we've, we've drawn a line uh, between what we're calling the processed only stream and the edited stream, right. which uh, people who enter the processed only categories will only be competing against other processed only images. Those that enter the edited stream will be competing against edited images. So it kind, images. Of, it kind of it makes it a level playing field? Yeah, I, I guess it means that if you, if you enjoy sh uh, shooting and, and just doing min minimal processing, uh, you won't be competing against images that have got a lot of post-processing put on. And obviously, too, there's photographers who are actually going to fit in both camps. So there's, sure. you, you can basically enter images into the edited process, into the edited stream, and then into the process stream as well. Yeah, there's there's no reason why you you couldn't be um, choosing images that suit uh, one, the other, or both of the of the streams. Yeah, and, and I think that, look, celebrating both types of photographers, um, which we know we've got in the collective, those both photographers there, and they're both legitimate forms of photography. For sure. Um, but again, it just kind of separates them that they are slightly different. Yep. So it is recognising that fact that we, yeah. yeah, there is a difference. So the processed only stream really celebrates um, a moment that was captured by a camera. Yep. And then it's had minimal processing uh, that hasn't altered the authenticity of that original capture. Yes, yeah. Uh, and that's where we've drawn the line. So you can you can change the exposure, you can burn and dodge, you can um, you know, correct some lens corrections, the sorts of things that you would do in the raw converter. Yes. Uh, there's a list of what you can and can't, can't do in do. the terms and conditions, uh, but uh, the the main thing to think of is that we're we're celebrating the moment. Yeah, with, what with the camera those actually captured. captured. Yeah. 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 And um, so, and again, like sometimes people do kind of refer that type of photography as kind of straight out of the camera. That's one of the yeah the um, most people do talk about it. Yeah, we uh, that that's often one one term for it. I guess the processed only stream goes a little bit further than that because it it does allow you to do some cropping. Yes. Um, and and the local processing adjustments like burning and dodging yep. and altering color saturation that kind yep. of thing conversion to black and white whether conversion that... to black and white it's fine because yep. you, again you haven't haven't changed the content of what's yeah what's so we're in, talking about the there original is, capture. you're not removing pixels or adding pixels basically. not adding yeah that's correct yeah right. but then if you jump over into um, the process stream the edit, edit, oh, sorry, the edited edit stream. stream I'll get my head around it yeah Ed yeah edited stream is pretty much anything that you want to do beyond what we've we specified in the processed only. So if you wanted to do a, a sky swap, or if you wanted to um, uh, do a composite image, create yep. create a fantasy kind of image, um, do a lot of retouching on a portrait, yep. uh, you'll you'll end up in the edited stream. Yeah. Yep. So and like I said, so people can enter into both both of them. It doesn't matter. And yeah. like I said, it's just. It just gives you, because I think myself as a photographer, I like playing in both ponds. Yeah, for sure. So I do like to try and go out there and capture um, with the camera and try and get, the, I can basically just download the image and it's, it's pretty much ready to, to show somebody yep. without doing anything else really to it. And quite often what I'll do is I'll just take it into Photoshop purely just to put a watermark on it. Because I've just made it, been a bit lazy, I've just made myself a, a brush tool, which is yep. a stamp. Yeah. Just a real quick way of doing it. For sure. A um, little tip there for you if you want to, Put your watermark, make a brush. Yeah. Um, but I don't change anything, so basically I try and do it, and um, then sometimes, like I said, yeah, I do jump in and I will do, I'll remove elements, I'll add an element, and sometimes I'll shoot two pictures at the same time, but with the idea that I'm going to actually use, yeah, an element and, from this picture in there. And all of and both um, approaches to image making are completely legitimate and should be celebrated, and so we're we're going to do that, but we're just not going to make. Them compete against each other. Yeah, because so. I think that I think that's kind of a fair way of doing it. Because you know, if you've got a picture that's been heavily edited, and it goes up against a picture that's been basically had to deal with what's and all what the camera saw, sometimes you know, um, yes, people will kind of look at those two images differently and say, "Oh, this one's I like this one better," um, but it, it's like it's had a lot of work done to it, so it's yeah. not really that moment in time. So really, you know, when you're talking about the process, it is that. 
capturing that moment. Yeah, that, that's an important part about the, um, I guess, those two different streams is that that celebration of what the cam, what the camera and lens captured at that at that moment, whether yes. it was one one twenty fifth of a second or thirty seconds, yeah. and in, in a night shot, it's still only what was captured during that time. Yeah, so if it's like you, during that one twenty fifth, a bird for swooping through the picture, and you got this blurred little bit of the bird going through, that that happened. That was what. Yep. That was there. Yeah, all, all part of it, and um, those decisive moments are what really made. Um, you know some of the greatest photography in, in history uh, and you know I, I, I hear some people when there's kind of arguments about whether you know uh, editing in Photoshop and, and adding and removing things is really photography doesn't really matter it's a it's a legitimate way of approaching things um, and interestingly people often um, refer back to um, famous Australian photographer from the turn of the last century, um, Frank Hurley, yep. who was one of our pioneering photographers who was down in Antarctica shooting large format plates and getting stuck in the ice. Uh, he, he, he had a foot in both camps. He would shoot documentary style photography, which was uh, a record of what was in front of the camera. Yep. But then he went to World War I and did a whole series of composite images in the darkroom, which when he came back and tried to publish them in the newspapers, everybody said, well, we can't publish those because they're, they're, not, real, um, they're not real photos. Yes, yep. Um, and he argued that, well, it was the only way to capture the, the chaos of the battlefield was to drop in a, 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 a sop with camel in the, in the sky and yes. a... And a uh, a bomb going off over a trench on the ground. Uh, so it's not that composite work is necessarily new, yes. it's just more common now, um, but, it, but they are two completely separate um, approaches to image making. It is. It's a, it's a different type of storytelling. For it, sure. Because for, for a composite image you can add, um, you can, I suppose what you're doing is you're expanding on a moment in time. All those things could have happened, but they all happened at individual's time and you're just compressing it into a into a package so the viewer can actually kind of get that you know that whole experience from that one from one that image. one yeah from yeah. that one image basically like you said and 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 again I think we've um, people have kind of accepted uh, that a lot of the images we see these days have been manipulated and they've been manipulated for a number of different reasons sometimes it's it's commercially because it's not commercially viable to go and shoot something in Antarctica so they'll drop a background in and or whatever, but we get the idea of what the what the they're trying to convey to us in that picture. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I think so people will be able to go in and read the terms and conditions. To get the list of to get the list of, of what they of can do in the permitted, process. Permitted edits, we'll we'll call it. Mm. Um, and then if you're shooting in the um, edited side of it, it's really sky's the limit. You can do as little or as much as you like. Yeah, for sure. So there's no there's no kind of like, oh well this is you need to you need to edit every detail of the image. No, you don't. No. It's what you're comfortable yeah, with. And it's just anything above what you're allowed, anything beyond what you're allowed to do in the processed only stream. Yeah. So. And one of the things I probably just probably point out with the because one of the judging uh, judging criteria is technique. It is. So the technique could be how good in the in the edited image how good you executed those changes. The, the edits for sure. So that 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 will. Um, the technique in the edited images, we will be looking at the the, qual you know, the, the standard of your yep. of the editing. Yep. Make sure that it's still looking uh, really good. Uh, you know, the appropriate use of um, uh, techniques. And, you know, if you're putting together an image and 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 the lighting's different on each on each element or something like that, when it should be the same, then yep. you know that that will probably bring your score down. Sure. The other thing is too, which um, we'll just briefly touch on, because I know people have brought it up a few times, is um, say they took an image a few years ago that took it three years ago, can they just use that image and put it into the into the current? Yeah, board? for sure. The the um, competition this year um, is open to any image. You don't have to have shot it um, recently. Yep. You haven't had don't have to shoot it specifically for the competition. Yep. It can be from your archive, no problem at all. Yeah. 
So you've got people who have that option to be able to go through their archives and start looking now what images they've got and, and choosing what might be suitable. Um, or, or they can actually go out and, and create something brand new. Yeah, if they like. If, if, sure. that's, if that's what they will motivate them to get them out there shooting. Yeah, or it um, might be a, a, new, um, a new process of an existing image. You might yep. have shot a couple of years ago and you go back and reprocess it in a different way. Yeah, and sometimes, look, I mean, I've, I must admit, sometimes I've gone back and reshot images mm -hmm. um, because I've, I've, I've shot it at a particular point in my you know, career of, and, and that's what I knew and understood. And then as you learn more, you go, I could have, this could have been so much better. Yeah. I was in this great location and I kind of, I didn't get the best out of it, so I go back and reshoot it and hopefully use some of the skills that you've gained to create a better image. For sure, yeah. 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 So it's fantastic. Hmm. Darren, thanks as always coming in and kind of sharing these uh, updates so people can actually understand. And it's going to be opening on the 15th of November. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. when the entry is going to be open and you'll be able to jump in there and, and do that. And I think the next update we'll probably talk about the entry bit about process, the entry process yeah. and how that is. So stay tuned and that'll be coming along very shortly. Yeah. Thanks, Darren. Okay. See you. Thanks, Steve.